In today's bait vault, we have a great peanut pellet recipe. These giant pellets are fantastic for carp, but can also be used for other freshwater species. They release peanut goodness into the water column slowly, allowing plenty of time for the fish to home in. To get started, we're going to need 3 quarters of a cup of whole wheat flour in a large mixing bowl. Next up is 3 quarters of a cup of soya flour. This is followed by 3 quarters of a cup of semolina. To bulk up the mix, we're adding 3 quarters of a cup of rolled oats. To help the pellets harden, we're adding 1 third of a cup of corn flour. For the binder, you're going to need to crack 2 large eggs. Simply break up the egg yolks by giving everything a quick mix. Now here comes the peanut flavour, smooth peanut butter. Don't worry about buying the expensive stuff, a mid price jar will do. Break the peanut butter up as it will make mixing and kneading easier later on. For the liquid, you need to get hold of some almond or soya milk. This can be found in most supermarkets and is relatively cheap. Start by adding a small amount of milk to your bowl and then knead well. Keep adding the milk slowly and in stages until you create a slightly wet dough. Once finished, this dough will easily make 200 plus giant pellets. Take small pinches of your dough and roll them into your individual pellet balls. You are looking to make them around 18 to 20 mil size. Start to microwave 20 to 25 pellets at a time at 800 watts for 60 seconds. When finished, take them out and roll them around and place them back in for another 30 seconds. Make sure you keep an eye on them so that they don't burn. Remove from the microwave and allow to cool. While this is happening, you can be cooking up your next batch. When completely cool, you should end up with a hard pellet which is ready to fish with. You can use them as offerings, hook baits or even add them to your ground bait mix. They will easily keep for 4 weeks in a sealed bag or container ready for your next fishing trip. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned in for next week's episode.